you see that this is here and then I can make these curves like I want them to right jump and but over here what was happening is if I look at this because this was not moving with the camera what I was doing is I was taking it up I was taking it back I was taking it down because the camera was moving but the Mario since it was not responding to the camera he was just staying in place Good morning, welcome back to the weekly quid. This is February 12, 2023, 9.17 am and so we are recording within the week itself which is a good thing. Now I just had a cup of coffee after doing the entire morning, extended morning schedule the way we're doing it nowadays but I'm still feeling a little drowsy. So that entire cup of coffee is also not helping me out much. So I'm going to stick to a 5 to 10 minute constraint. Might go on a rant on a few things here and there just off of the top of my head. Vlog 132 key points. It was an entirely full-time job week. Nothing on dad's work except for uploading 60 episodes which I did on Monday. And I remember telling in the previous episode that this entire week I want to get done with uh, the 75 episode lot for show one. And I could not do any bit of it because Prathamesh from my team has been on a leave and he will be on the leave for the next three days of this week as well. So I'm not having any hopes from the week itself. And I was just thinking about this in the morning. It would be so amazing when that lot gets over and dad's work gets figured or sorted to the extent that I only have to work on it like a couple of hours here and there in the week. During the week, the only thing that I have to worry about is the full-time job. So all the other free time that I get normally, I would devote that to Blender and 3D and everything. And Saturday morning, I would record my two YouTube videos for the week and Sunday morning. Obviously, record in the code session, edited and uploaded. And then later in the day on Sunday, I could just edit those YouTube videos and have them scheduled to go live during the week. That is the ideal utopian, yeah, utopian life that we're aiming for in the near future. So Creative Shrimp Lightem course. So Creative Shrimp is this uh, person, Galeb Alexandrov's company, just like Zach has his company, CG Boost. It's an amazing company where they're making very high quality blender courses and uh, their lighting course is something that I found very fascinating because lighting in 3D and CG renders lighting plays an extremely important role. You can have like a very average scene but if your lighting is amazing that look the render will come out very amazing. So this course goes in depth in lighting and rendering and uh, compositing and everything. So that's one course that I really want to take but again as I said this entire week I'm not going to be having any time whatsoever so I'll probably take this by the end of this week or next week photoshop shortcuts so as i said throughout the week it was a very full-time job intensive week so of course i didn't do anything in blender but i did do a lot of things in after effects after a long time actually so in photoshop uh three things that i really figured for i wanted to show as far as shortcuts is concerned i have made like a very basic file with six logos here and i've divided them into two groups icons top icons bottom so the first shortcut is this is only two groups here but the photoshop slates i get for the videos that i have to make it's so after effects have like a lot of groups and subgroups and i can't open one of those files because i don't want to you know things up a good shortcut is if you hold down alt control and then click on these toggles you're gonna open or close all of the groups and even the subgroups like for example if this was a group right and even if this was a group so now if i say alt control and one toggle it will open or close all of the toggles so even if i do it this way then inside the hierarchy here it will open and close all which comes very handy when as i said there are a lot of groups and subgroups involved alt and left air left bracket and right bracket with these you can navigate up and down the layer so you're not changing any order here you're just navigating up and down just in case you want to do something for example this comes in a lot handy when let's say okay now let's say i want to make a thing where i control shift j now i want to go down to the layer so I say alt left bracket or alt right bracket instead of coming here and clicking on that so that's where that comes handy control plus left and right will actually move the layer order up and down match cuts and super mario ae now I will have to go ahead and show you a bit of a video that I made initializing gpu as if after effects even uses a gpu okay so I'm gonna mute this so that there's an audio playing and uh, if you look at this video it has all sorts of match cuts in it and then start with the zoom match cut things so there's position match cut 
so left to right up and down and there is zoom match cut yep so this here this is the entire motion graphic shenanigan that makes people look like a pro with motion design so from here to here it's very like pleasing to see and what i want to do is make a script for it so that i can just press a button and all of this happens basically what is happening here and i've done this once on an in the code video i don't know what the title of the video is but i watched that video only again to revise what the entire purpose of in the code is i want to document or record whatever i've learned today so that i can later look back at it and revise so basically you, you want to scale down right this is a zooming in so we're scaling from 100 to 80 and the same will happen from on this comp as well the above one 100 to 80 is the exact same scale the real difference happens in the graph editor so if i go to graph editor for this and we're looking at the value graph here it starts slowly and then it goes to the maximum here so it starts slowly and then go to the maximum and this for this you just make it the opposite you start slow and make it and for here you're just doing a regular thing and trying to cut it in the middle so this is also going from left from right to left and we're just cutting it in the middle so it looks like a match cut in the middle where uh, it's the highest the influence is the highest over here i can check the speed graph so you see these mountain curves at this exact point where it's the maximum influence at that point you cut and i had actually made this in office i had gone to office on thursday because as i said through the week I was realizing man this is turning out to be a very full time job heavy week so I thought might as well just leave and lean into that fact and go to the office only because there was so much of full time job work to be done so I might as well do it in the office so this was the first one I had made I'm gonna play this I randomly try to figure this out like there's a camera which is moving from left to right and then I added so many keyframes on the Mario and then there was this problem of the entire linear keyframes and bezier keyframes and this gets the job done like nobody noticed that there was a problem of sorts but i knew that there is a very big problem with uh, the way the mario is moving in this case so then i made it a little more sophisticated like over here you see i've color coded the keyframes as well which by now you have realized i have switched to premiere and after effects 2020 like the entire suit to 2023 because uh, a lot of my teammates were using 2023 for some reason so i thought i'll also switch to it and then later i saw in the creative cloud app that you don't have access to 2021 now which is like classic adobe nonsense forget about it i'm just switched to 2023 and i'm gonna try and deal with whatever is and right now this is the latest one which i think got approved and here what i did is i parented the mario to the camera so there's a the mario control is to a zero and zero is painted to the camera earlier it wasn't paired to the camera so what i had to do is i had to like guess where it will go or where it will not go but now if the fact that it is actually moving with the camera you see that this is here and then i can make these curves like i want them to right jump and but over here what was happening is if i look at this because this was not moving with the camera what i was doing is i was taking it up i was taking it back i was taking it down because the camera was moving but the mario since it was not responding to the camera he was just staying in place so this was a lot more difficult i don't know why i did it this way this was very difficult to like get those keyframes right and my head started to blast after i had completed it as compared to this this is a lot more easier because like even visually this seems like a lot easier to do and the last second last important point is sustainability so this comes from yesterday saturday i woke up with like an extreme like i just want to sleep situation this has happened a lot of times earlier as well but yesterday when i was doing my part and it was such a struggle like right from the beginning like my eyes were feeling heavy it was shutting down and then what i did is i completed the part and i went to sleep and i slept from 6 30 to 12 30 yesterday which is what made me think that this for this to be sustainable because i really want it to be a sustainable lifestyle of waking up at 4 a.m doing the nickname part and then continuing with the day as it is i have to sleep by 10 p.m because when i get six hours of sleep only then i have 
the strength to do all of this in the morning and then even do a little bit of work like i'm right now recording this session ideally i should be doing some sort of work and then having a nap before the full-time job day starts for that i have to have six hours of sleep at least in the night and the only way that that can be achieved is if i reach the gym by 6 30 pm for that i have to leave by 6 15 pm and that there is no other alternative to that. I have to have to do that because the gym gets late and then the riyaz and guitar makes it late. And if I sleep by 12 p.m., there is no way I can get up at 4 a.m. and be fresh enough to continue for like three, four hours. The last point for today's session is system reset. So because I worked through the week with After Effects and Premiere, I saw like a next level frustration with uh, After Effects crashing and more than After Effects crashing or Premiere crashing, the problem I was facing is just the cursor would stop moving and I knew that the system is hanging. So the entire system was hanging. It's not that the project is crashing. So I'm like, okay, I have lost my progress or something like that. The entire system, Windows has to restart nonsense is happening over and over and over again. And I don't know why that is the case. Of course, I could not afford to let that happen because it was very frustrating. Like you try doing something and trying to quickly figure that out and submit that, like export that video, send it on the group or whatever. And there is this nonsense happening. The only thing I felt like can be done is I would just do a factory reset to the computer. And there is an option in Windows where you can keep your files and just remove all the software and stuff. So I did that yesterday. And then I had to spend some time yesterday trying to get these startup apps so straight away like with a vanilla system i need chrome for everything else so chrome then iq iq is this software which allows me to change uh, lighting and everything on my keyboard then vlc obviously office setup auto hotkey notion and right now just before recording i needed scr py which is this software that allows me to see uh, my Android phone so that my camera situation is sorted and OBS which if you haven't seen OBS's new uh, interface is pretty nice. One important thing here is is Bitdefender the culprit. So I have a theory that antiviruses mess with the system because when I had got my first ever laptop which was the HP laptop it had McAfee already installed in it and we also installed NPAV protector in it which is why the computer was performing very 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 below optimal parts or optimal standards as it is supposed to so that is something that clicked and I thought maybe it's the Bitdefender antivirus that I'm using which is making the system hang that could be a reason I'm not sure maybe it's just After Effects and Premiere messing up with the system regardless for the next week as I said it's again going to be full-time job heavy so i'm going to use after effects premiere and all my softwares without the bit defender antivirus and see if the hang in still continues and if it does we probably have to do something about the system because the system is very strong it shouldn't be hanging like that otherwise if it doesn't then that means bit defender is out of the equation rip to all the money i've spent into that subscription the last little point that i want to mention is i've been taking creatine for two weeks now more than the years so i'll be complete more than two weeks now and up until now i had no problem but like last three four days i've started to see some form of like weird red color rashes on the body on the back and on the underneath the chest and things like that so i have a theory that it is because of creatine because maybe it's not suiting my body or something like that so i can do two things here I can either stop taking creatine for the next week and see if it gets fine, if it like heals itself, then that means creatine was doing it. But how will I know? Maybe if that kind of thing doesn't heal itself unless you take a tablet or something. Or the other option is I continue taking creatine and see that if it gets worse, like I see a lot more rashes on the body, which sounds like a dangerous thing to do because I never do things like these with the body. So I'm getting signals that maybe I should not continue taking creatine. But they said you take it for three weeks at least to see some form of progress in the body. Frankly, I have not seen anything very substantial happen as of now, like two weeks of taking three grams of creatine every single day almost. So I don't really know what to do with that. That's kind of a to be figured out situation. But uh, that's all I had to document for today's session. Thanks so much for being in the quad. I will catch you next week. Peace.